Hey everyone, Melody here with Sword and Steel, and today we're gonna be reviewing the new Daughters of Cain War Cry cards. I'm very excited about these, and I'm very excited to see what Daughters of Cain have in store for us for War Cry. So let's get into it. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here. And let's watch me for a moment be horrible at cutting things. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. So I recognize the symbol already. I um I have the dice set that they've done for Daughters of Cain. I'm hoping to run them in future Age of Sigmar games and I guess more crime as well. So I uh yeah, I definitely recognize the symbol in these right away and it made me very excited. Alright. So yeah, let's look at these first. So we've got our card here that names off all of the different members of the faction. All right, yes, it looks like we've got someone for our blood sisters. We've got their leader, the gore guy. We've got some different witch elves here with different weapon abilities. Sisters of Slaughter, if you were to build them that way. Uh, canary, canary leader. Oh, look, you even get the, yeah, the crone with a little blood worm. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I just think he's awesome. I can't wait to field him. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh. And I suppose on the back it probably gives us the same thing in the other languages. Thank you for being thoughtful, GW. Aha, uh -huh, that is exactly it. Cool. Very cool. Alright, we'll just set these over to the side here and let's see what we got here all right so we've got our couple, our cards here for any duplicate pieces that you may have you'll recognize these from the war cry starter box as well i've got a couple that i use with the untamed beasts and i know naomi has a few that she uses with certain iron golem minis as well keep them over to the side oh cool all right so we have our harridan here Okay, it looks like she's got a blade there. More of our canary here. Ooh, we've got our heart render shrink. Regular heart renders. They've got their spears. Ooh! Oh, look. And she's got a range limit. She's got a minimum and a maximum for her bow. That's interesting. That'll be interesting to see in combat. And same thing, of course, for the uh, regular blood stalkers as well, not just the crone. Ooh, we have our gore guy here. Then we have our other blood sisters. Ooh, sisters of slaughter. I haven't run these guys yet, but I'm excited to see how they play. All right, and then we've got some witch elves here. Oh, cool. Oh, and this is the one with the sacrificial knife and bladed buckler. I have heard good things. All right, and we'll just flip this guy over and take a quick look at some of the abilities here too. All right, so it looks like they've all got the top one here, bait and blood, the one here in the middle for a triple, slaughter strength, and then it looks like we've got some special abilities. Oh, cool. Turn to crystal. Pick a visible enemy fighter within six inches and roll two dice. For each roll of four or five, allocate one damage point to that fighter. For each roll of six, allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of the ability. I see why it is turned to crystal. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see these. Oh, well, we've got to check out their quad. 
Death on the Wind. This fighter makes a bonus move action. Then they can make a bonus attack action. In addition, add one to the st what? Add one to the strength characteristic of that attack action. If the fighter finishes the move action at six inches or more away from their starting position. What? What are you? Oh, that is going to be very exciting. All right, we'll give you another quick look here at the troop choices. So cool. I love all the variety that they give you. And a quick span here through the cards again. We've got our witch elves, sisters of slaughter, blood sister, gore guy, blood stalker, crone with blood worm, <laughs> little friend. Alright, a regular heart render. Yes, and then this is the Shrike. Shriek? Shrike? I guess I'll learn. <laughs> Alright, yep, and then we've got our Life Takers and our Harridan there in the back. Very cool. Alright, that was super exciting. I cannot wait to use those abilities and use those models in-game. I'm very excited to feel them and bring them to the table. I love the diversity that it seems to present you with the different models that it gives you the ability that you could choose. It also seems like some of the different kits, like for the Blood Sisters or for, you know, the Sisters of Slaughter slash Witch Elves, that, you know, if you had them built, if you had them built for a certain faction versus the, um, the other unit choice, if you had them built for one unit choice versus the other unit choice, it seems like, you know, there's no reprimanding for that. You can run both or maybe you want to run all of one type in one game or try another in another. It seems like they give you a lot of room to uh, to play around with the models that you would exist in, that exist currently for the uh, the faction itself, which is really cool. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed and we will definitely be bringing them to you to the table in a near game in the future. Enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification and we'll catch you for the next one.